Italian Americans are leaders, and they're also patriotic Americans. Italian Americans are family people. Italian Americans are confident. Italian Americans are savvy. Italian Americans know who they are and are proud of it. Italian Americans care about other people. Italian Americans are warm and uh, lovable people. Italian Americans are substantive, friendly, very good to be around, funny, and uh, honorable. Italian Americans are special and aware of who we are. I tell my children all the time, I said, you know, you should really take stock in the fact that you didn't know your great-grandfather or your great-great, you know, grandparents, but appreciate the sacrifices they made because the life that you have today, they built the foundation for it. My pop was from southern Italy, Calabria, uh, province of Cosenza. I think the family just needed to get out to where they could take wings, if you will. My grandfather was born and raised in a small village north of Milan. Basically, the American dream brought him. My dad's family is from Naples. My mom's family is from Agrigento, Sicily. They were very young. My grandfather, Carmine, came to this country first when he was 11. You could imagine how hard it must have been to leave a place where you had so much safety and you had your friends and your family, but they had that hopefulness and uh, optimism that if you came to America, you could start anew and create a better life for your family. And frankly, that's exactly what they did. My father was in the mines at the age of 11 stayed in the mines for the next 40 years. I remember at his funeral, somebody coming to me and saying what a hard life he had. And I corrected him politely, saying it was a brutally hard life, but it was an eminently successful life because he put two kids through college, he took care of his family, he made sure that we were gonna have a better life, an easier life than he had. And for my father, that was success. My grandfather's father was a tanner. My grandmother's family did piecework. My grandmother's father was in the sanitation department, which was like being the mayor in our neighborhood. And everybody just sort of collectively survived. I mean, it was a house, I think in the 1930 census, there were 78 people, all of them my family, in this one apartment building. And that was their world. I have no doubt in my mind that the reason that I've had professional success is because of my upbringing. You know, I remember when I was a girl and I had a boyfriend who broke up with me and I was crying and I, would, you know, I was so young and I remember saying to my mom, don't tell anyone, this, I don't want anyone to know and this is just us. Well, she left my bedroom and went right upstairs and told my father, proceeded to call my sister, told my brother. And it was such a lesson for me because in my family, my problem was everyone's problem. And I think as a kid, that had an enormous impact on me because I realized and I thought that I could do anything because it didn't matter. Whatever I did, even if I failed, I had my family. That sense of family and family support, that is one debt of gratitude we owe to our ancestors. And that is a legacy that not only supported our families, but was a great uh, investment in America. We must make the American people hear our tale of two cities. We must convince them that we don't have to settle for two cities, that we can have one city, indivisible, shining for all of its people. We have become fully part of the American dream. Those are terms that Governor Cuomo spoke very eloquently about that we are part of this mosaic. We can make it all the way with the whole family intact, and we have more than once. The convention speech that he gave, that embodies everything he believed in, and that's what made it so poignant and so truthful and wonderful that people can never forget.
the lessons that he gave. It applies today. It'll apply forever. And it's a story, ladies and gentlemen, that I didn't read in a book or learn in a classroom. I saw it and lived it like many of you. I watched a small man with thick calluses on both his hands work 15 and 16 hours a day. I saw him once literally bleed from the bottoms of his feet. La familia, the family. It meant so much to him to have people understand that we're all like a family. What do we stand for as an Italian-American community? The sense of connection, the sense that we are all part of a family. And for me, when I'm a part of a NIAF event, there's this automatic connection with the people in the room. I'm so grateful for all of you. It's great to be Italian. We share a common history. We share a common love of our culture. And to me, Nayef is the place where that family can come together. I remember, oh, it probably was about 30 years ago, um, and I, I was having lunch with um, a young jurist at the time. His name was Antonin Scalia. I asked him, what's the purpose of this organization? He said, you know, we don't need help in getting jobs. We don't need help in this, but we've got a wonderful culture and we should really remember that culture. And I like to think that's, that is the ultimate purpose of NIAF. I grew up in a neighborhood that still, even in the 80s and parts of the early 90s was predominantly Italian speaking, newspapers, radio. So you knew right away when you heard the sounds, when you smelled the smells, you knew you were safe. I found that again when I joined EF. That safety that you get together, be a family or the neighborhood or that extended kinship, that's what we survive in. And we at the foundation, you may come to one event in your life, but we hope when you come to that event, you ultimately feel that empowering safety. That's, that's the best we can do to hold on to the values, I think. My name is Joe Del Rosso. I'm a third generation Italian American, and I've been involved with the National Italian American Foundation since 1983. My name is Peter Secchia from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm a third generation, proud Italian American, and I've been a member of NEAF ever since the early 1970s. My name is Aileen Riato Sairi. Um, I am a first generation Italian American. I was the first woman vice president of NEAF and the first woman vice chair of NEAF. My name is Fred Rotondaro. I'm first generation. I've been involved with NIAF since 1976. I'm Maria Bartiromo. I'm a third generation Italian, been a member of NIAF for a decade, and I'm on the board. Proud Italian American. I'm John Calvelli. I'm the executive vice president of the National Italian American Foundation. I'm a first, second, third, and fourth generation Italian American. My name is John Viola. I'm third generation Italian American, and I am the president and chief operating officer of the National Italian American Foundation. I'm Matilda Rafa Cuomo, and I'm second generation Italian, and I'm very proud of it.